Hey folks, welcome back to Viper Island. This is your full G.I. Joe Classified preview for PulseCon 2023. Coming up today in this jam-packed episode, we'll let you know the confirmed pre-orders for PulseCon, as well as the retail exclusives, expected pre-orders, the new retro line, the expected digital renders, as well as predictions for 2024. This includes a new subline, figures to join the pipeline, exclusives, the 2024 HasLab, and vehicles. First up, the confirmed pre-orders. These are the figures that we know for sure will be available at PulseCon. And we start with the PulseCon exclusive, the Crimson Strike Team 3-pack, Baroness, Tomax, and Zamot. Then there's General Hawk, Shockwave, Helix, Dreadnought Ripper, and Dreadnought Buzzer. Buzzer does have some stubble. Lenny from the G.I. Joe team at Hasbro has clarified that both Buzzer and Ripper will not include backpacks, as their backpacks are said to be built into their weapons. It's one less accessory for both, and according to Lenny, Buzzer's chainsaw is supposed to be self-powered, so that's why he doesn't have his gas can backpack. Meanwhile, Ripper's Jaws of Life weapon will attach onto his back. According to Hasbro, Ripper's sunglasses are removable, and based on our own research, we can now report and confirm that Buzzer's glasses are removable. Next, we have retail exclusives from Target. These were already made available during the Target Geek Out event, so more supplies of these might be available during PulseCon. Python Copperhead, the Python Patrol Cobra Officer, and the Python Patrol Televiper and Flight Pod. The Cobra Officer in particular has had a name change several times already. Originally, the Python Patrol Trooper was misnamed as the Python Patrol Officer. And then during San Diego Comic-Con when this figure was first shown as a digital render, Hasbro said that this was called the Python Patrol Trooper. They've since corrected this. And this figure is now called the Python Patrol Cobra Officer. So we have a Python Patrol Officer, and now a Python Patrol Cobra Officer. Now let's talk about some of the other expected pre-orders. First up, Shadow Tracker. This could be part of PulseCon, we've been waiting for it for quite a while, but it could also be saved for a Walmart event. Until then, it's on our list of expected pre-orders. And joining this is the Wolf Spider. There's no confirmation yet on whether this will be a retail exclusive tied to Walmart, or whether this will be a mainline release. But Wolf Spider is intended to be part of Night Force. In addition, we're also waiting for the pre-order for the Vamp and Clutch, as well as the Techno Viper and SMS. And it won't come as any surprise if we get a reveal of Mutton Junkyard. Then next, we've got the Retro Line. The confirmed figures are Duke and Scarlet, and the unannounced figure that we're all waiting for is Cobra Commander. According to the G.I. Joe team at Hasbro, the Retro Duke and Scarlet figures will consist of brand new everything, so these won't be redecos of the original ones. They will both have entirely new faces. Here on Viper Island, we've already confirmed that Scarlet and Glenda will share the same mold. There was a lot of speculation that this would be the case, and we do have confirmation that this is true. Scarlet was designed and sculpted first, before Hasbro decided to make Glenda for the Dragonfly HasLab. This was confirmed by the sculptor of both Glenda and Scarlet. So Scarlet will be a retro version, using the same mold as Glenda and a new head sculpt. Meanwhile, Duke will be a retro version similar to the original figure from the 80s, with a brand new head sculpt. Duke has often shown with a jetpack and famously appeared with one during the intro to G.I. Joe the movie. How cool would it be if one of Duke's accessories is a Steel Core Trooper's jetpack? One accessory that we're anticipating is for Duke to include Grunt's classic laser blaster rifle. Cobra Commander is all but confirmed, Hasbro is likely waiting until the Hiss tank has been officially released so as to not devalue the Cobra Commander variant included in the HasLab. Cobra Commander will use the same mold as the Hiss tank figure, and he will include most of his classic accessories. According to the G.I. Joe team, these will be released on a thicker retro cardstock than the discontinued Walmart line had. And good news for collectors, these will be mainline releases this time, not tied to Walmart as exclusives. Next, we have the expected digital renders. Here's the list right now that we're waiting for. Big Boa, Quick Kick, Dreadnought Torch, the G.I. Joe Medic, Doc, Airborne, and Jinx. Big Boa might be loyal to the original design and sculpt, but there's also a chance that Big Boa is going to be updated with a more intimidating and futuristic spike-covered helmet. In a recent interview, Lenny called Dreadnought Torch a must for Classified, and they said that he will come with flames for his flamethrower accessory. According to the G.I. Joe team at Hasbro, Airborne will be the standard retro-inspired version and not a Night Force version. But we'll keep an eye on this as there might be a Night Force version down the road. As we reported last month, Lenny from the G.I. Joe team confirmed that Jinx will have a brand new sculpt, so she will not be a 
redeco of Akiko, Blue Ninja, or Vipra. Lenny also added that Jinx will have some fun new accessories. John from the G.I. Joe team confirmed that Jinx will be a loyal rendition of the version from G.I. Joe the movie, all red. Based on all of this, there's a chance that Jinx might end up being a deluxe figure, hopefully more along the lines of Snow Job, including a lot of accessories, as opposed to Chuckles and some other exclusives which came with bare bones accessories. Big Boa, Jinx, and the new Retro Scarlet were all sculpted by Paul Harding, who also sculpted Mutt, the Snow Serpents, General Hawk, Cobra Eel, Torpedo, Snow Job, Shooter, and Glenda. So expectations are very high for Big Boa, Jinx, and the new Retro Scarlet. Now time for our predictions for 2024. First up, let's talk about a possible new subline theme. This is not confirmed, only speculation. And we think one of the next sublines might be the Iron Grenadiers. If so, here's what we can expect. First, the Iron Grenadier Soldiers. These are highly detailed, and they'll fit right into the classified series in a perfect way. Joining them, of course, Iron Grenadier Destro. You can't have the Iron Grenadiers without their leader, and in a world of repaints, it's a great time for Destro to rejoin the classified series in a new wave. As for who else might join Destro's Iron Grenadier army, how about Iron Grenadier Baroness? The new Crimson Strike Team Baroness provides us with a new mold that can be reused for future figures. And the Iron Grenadier Baroness would be a solid addition. And since we have a bat for almost every occasion, we should anticipate that the Hasbro team will also include an Iron Grenadier bat. As for other significant characters in the Iron Grenadiers theme, we have to consider one of my favorites, Darklon. Darklon is Destro's cousin. He has an incredible look, he's a heavy artillery Cobra leader, so when he joins Classified, he should include some heavy duty assault weapons. This is yet another final boss who you really want to avoid at all costs. He has one of the most unique looking masks, and any Darklon is going to feature texture upon texture, whether it's the fabric feel of his upper body attire, or the many straps and buckles he has. There should be a lot of subtle details hidden throughout the figure. Darklon is a mercenary and a master of warfare. He's a legit heavy artillery soldier, and it would make sense for his accessories to include a large war knife, grenades, a Gatling gun, two handguns for dual firing, perhaps a rocket launcher, and a briefcase full of cash just like Destro. Another solid possibility for the Iron Grenadiers is Metalhead. We recently featured this custom version of Metalhead made by Stronox Custom Figures. Metalhead is a Cobra double agent and a member of Destro's Iron Grenadier Army. He's Destro's secret weapon against Cobra Commander. His armor is a technological marvel, enhancing his strength, agility, and durability to superhuman levels. His signature weapons include a shoulder-mounted missile launcher capable of precision strikes and wrist-mounted laser blasters for close quarters combat. Metalhead is absolutely the type of figure that would fit into the classified series very well. And finally, Voltar. Along with his pet Vulture, this is another armored soldier who is well suited for the classified series. Now let's talk about some of the figures that we're predicting for 2024. First up, let's cover Cobra. And we have to start with one of the Dreadnoughts, Xandar. He's long overdue for the classified series, as we already have Zartan and Xandar's twin sister, Zorana. We believe that Xandar has already been designed, sculpted, and is ready to go. Next on the list, Dreadnought Monkey Wrench. It appears that 2024 might finally be the year of the Dreadnoughts. And if so, Monkey Wrench should line up next to Buzzer, Ripper, and Torch. And the Dreadnoughts will need some big muscle, so it's time for Road Pig to join Classified. Based on the ultimate custom figure that we received from custom figure creator extraordinaire, Figurehead, Road Pig should be treated as a very special figure, bigger, larger, thicker, and a legitimate brute. We're also predicting for 2024, the debut of the Night Viper. They could go any number of ways with this, and it's possible that they even reuse some of the Wolf Spider's mold or his night vision goggles. And the last Cobra figure that we're predicting for 2024, Battle Armor Cobra Commander. Classified's armor could make this the best Battle Armor Cobra Commander we've ever seen. Destro's factory designed a special body armor suit for Cobra Commander to join the Cobra frontline forces in battle. This suit is made of flexible bulletproof polymer fabrics with beryllium steel plate components. His helmet is similar to Iron Man's. It has an internal comm system, digital readouts about his surrounding environment, and a computer display. We'd prefer the helmet to be attached to the head, and this is what we're expecting when this figure joins Classified. Battle Armor Cobra Commander debuted in the 
Comics, and his storyline began in issue 58, and then he later appeared in the G.I. Joe cartoon series as part of Operation Dragonfire. We've already received, or are about to receive, several of the figures which appear alongside Battle Armor Cobra Commander. These include Python Patrol Copperhead, the Python Patrol Cobra Viper, and the Python Patrol Officer, Cobra Officers, Alley Vipers, and more. Storytelling references are truly what elevate the classified series figures to the next level, including a Fred 7 version of Battle Armor Cobra Commander, even as two separate head sculpts, one with the helmet and one without, would make this a must-have for many collectors. Features of Battle Armor Cobra Commander should include armor that's similar to Iron Man, or the look of Halo figures. Even better, pair this figure with the Pogo Assault Pod, and collectors will become very excited. Jumping over to the Joe side, we have six figures that we're predicting for 2024. The first one is an easy one, the regular retro-inspired version of Rakondo. We already have the Tiger Force version, some collectors like it, some don't, and it seems that most people are waiting for the original figure to join. Next is Alpine. Is there a character better suited for showing off the best features of Classified than Alpine? This is a great opportunity to show off his elaborately detailed gear. Accessories that we should expect are his backpack, firearms, pickaxes, submachine guns, and grappling hooks. Many of these accessories have already been created for other figures. This is a very popular character, and we're anticipating that there will be some reuse featured in this figure as well. More specifically, Alpine could feature a reuse of the Range Viper's pickaxe, and possibly Grunt's laser blaster rifle as well. Then one of the original G.I. Joe members, Grand Slam. He could be an individual figure, but it would also make sense for him to be included with the G.I. Joe MMS, the G.I. Joe version of the SMS. And Grand Slam could also feature the Steel Core Trooper's jetpack, as well as Grunt's laser blaster rifle. Then how about Airtight? We expect the classified version of Airtight to include some chemical canisters, hoses, a compressor pack, shotgun, rifle, and more. And there's a chance that there's some redeco use of the Mole Rat's body sculpt, along with Airtight's helmet. Next, another classic character from G.I. Joe the movie, Law & Order. Just on the accessories alone, we're expecting reuse of Shockwave's Nightstick and Commando Snake Eyes Uzi. According to the G.I. Joe team, Lenny mentioned that he's working on another pet, but can't reveal anything about it right now, with the debuts of Tunnel Rat, Jinx, and Chuckles. Law & Order makes a lot of sense for 2024. And last but not least, we're predicting that in 2024, we'll have the debut of Storm Shadow version 2. This will feature digital camo, similar to the 1988 version of Storm Shadow. He should include some claws, two katana blade swords, nunchucks, and a reflex bow, all of which already exist in the classified series. So this will be an easy figure for Hasbro to create. And we have even more predictions to come. For the exclusives, let's talk about Python Patrol. We think there's a good chance that we could have some female Python troopers, and this would be a redeco version of the Cobra Valkyries. In terms of name figures, it's possible that we get Python Patrol versions of Cobra Commander, and possibly even Major Blood. Jumping over to Tiger Force, we're waiting for a redeco version of Heavy Artillery Roadblock as the Tiger Force version. Other possibilities include Tripwire, who is part of Tiger Force, and even Tunnel Rat. Then let's jump over to Night Force. The lead candidate that we're expecting next is Shockwave. The other two candidates that seem likely are Outback and Tunnel Rat. With Night Force, there are a lot of different names to choose from. The most notable names that we're waiting for right now are Shockwave, Outback, Falcon, Tunnel Rat, and even Duke, who at one time was a member of Night Force, all of whom are already part of the line or will be by the end of the year. As for our prediction for the 2024 G.I. Joe HasLab, we're predicting the Cobra Rattler, featuring its pilot, Wild Weasel. Based on the success of the Dragonfly and the Hiss Tank, it's only a matter of time before we get this iconic Cobra vehicle. It's too big for retail, but it's the perfect size for HasLab. Let us know in the comments down below what incentives you'd want included and which figures you think make sense. Wild Weasel could easily reuse the Ripcord mold. Now let's talk about possible retail vehicles. And we lead this off with the G.I. Joe MMS. We expect that this will come with a figure just like Techno Viper and the SMS. There are many possibilities. Grand Slam is our leading prediction, but it could also be one of several other original 1982 figures. Which figure is included really doesn't matter because we are expecting that the G.I. Joe MMS will join in 2024. The next vehicle we predict is the Cobra Stinger, and we think that this will come with a gray Cobra officer as the driver. This would be another easy redeco for Hasbro to create. Let us know in the comments down below if you're really excited for the Cobra Stinger, and whether you have any preference between the Stinger or the Vamp, or whether you'd be lining up to buy both of them. 
The third vehicle we're expecting for 2024, the Dreadnought Thunder Machine with the driver Thrasher. This seems like a no-brainer with so many new Dreadnoughts joining the line. Lenny has previously said that he really wants to make a Dreadnoughts Thunder Machine, and the G.I. Joe team recently said that the Thunder Machine is too small for a HasLab, so if it joins the classified series, which we expect it will, it will most likely be a standard retail release. And finally, how about the Cobra Ferret? This could also double as the G.I. Joe Tiger Paw, so it's absolutely an option. The Cobra Ferret is an iconic vehicle, and as a small four-wheeler, this is a perfect fit for retail. The fun with predictions is waiting to see what falls into place, and being surprised by the unexpected. Stay tuned for our PulseCon coverage after all the reveals are made. We'll bring you all the latest news, analysis, and our takes on all the new rollouts. Join us for that later this week. As always in the meantime, we want your takes down in the comments section. Today's Viper Island question of the day is, what new reveals do you want to see in 2024? We want to hear from you, so let us know what's at the top of your wish list. My name is Liam, you can follow me on Instagram at Viper Island. For all things G.I. Joe, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you want to support the show, smash that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, have a great day, and yo Joe!